So you're looking for ways on how you can create a table in Google Sheets. I'm about to show you how to do it. If we haven't met before, my name's Melinda from Spreadsheetables, where we teach people to create and monetize Google Sheets to increase their revenue in their membership programs, coaching, and for digital products. Now, if you're thinking about Excel and how easy it is to create a table, you can create tables in Google Sheets and it's really easy. Now, what you're gonna do is highlight all of your information. You're gonna go to Format, and click on alternating colors. That's gonna automatically put these colors in place on your table. Now you can easily change the color of it by selecting the different options on the side here. And if you don't like any of the preset colors, you can go ahead and modify those down below. So you can see here, I can select a color for the header. I can maybe go with a lighter shade for color one and a darker shade for color two. Now you'll see that I've picked a bright color here. That's just to demonstrate that you might not wanna pick something that's gonna be hard on people's eyes. So I'm gonna go back to one of these color palettes that's already a default in there, but you're more than welcome to change it to one of your brand colors. The next thing we're gonna to do to make this a table is add a filter option. So I'm gonna highlight the header at the top and I'm gonna to go to data and create a filter. Now you'll see there's a little menu all in each of the categories that I can go and filter for. So for example, for category, if I just want the category food, I can select it here and click OK. Now with this table option, you're going to notice that you can easily expand this simply by typing down below. So if I add in a few more last names here, you'll see that the table has expanded automatically. The same thing with the side. I can start adding tasks off to the side and it's going to expand that for me. Now you'll just wanna be careful if you're expanding off to the side that your filter hasn't carried over. So you'll just need to add the filter to that column. Now the beauty of this is that your information looks really clear, clean, and easy to read. Now there's a few things we can add to this table to clean it up a little bit, especially if we're sharing this table with others and multiple people are entering information, we wanna make sure the information is consistent. So the first thing we can do is in the category section, we can create a drop down for these items. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually copy my categories over here. I only have four categories in total, but I could leave space for a few more, just in case somebody wants to add their own. Now in here, I'm gonna highlight this whole section. I'm gonna to go to data, data validation. I'm gonna add a new rule and you'll see it's automatically added the drop down for me and they're right here but I wanna link it to this list here so that people can continue to add more categories. So I'm gonna say drop down from a range and I'm gonna select this range here and click okay. I'm gonna click done. And now people can go in and select which category. This is particularly handy if somebody goes in and tries to add their own information, it's gonna come up with a warning. And this is helpful if we wanna keep our information consistent. Now, if they do wanna add a category, they can add it over here. And if I go back to my drop down, you can see that it is listed here. The other thing I would do is format the date column to make sure that people can only enter a date. So I'm going to highlight this area and I'm going to click data, data validation. I'm going to add a new rule and for the criteria, I'm going to select that the criteria is a valid date. Now, if somebody goes into here and just types in, let's say Monday, it's going to come up with an error right here in the corner. The same thing is going to happen if they enter some values that aren't a actual date. So if we do 22 slash 14 slash 2024 and click enter, it's gonna show up with an error. And that's how easy it is to create a table in Google Sheets.